Good night. How are you? Hi, Alex. Hi, Claudie. How are you guys? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Hi, thank you. Thank you. Ah, uh, well, to be honest with you, a little bit tired, sleepy maybe. It's Friday. Yes, yes teacher. Of course, sleepy. I think I would like to sleep than um eat. What do you think? When you are tired, what do you prefer? Sleep or eat? Sleep. Sleep. Mm -hmm. What about you, Alex? Sleep or eat? Sleep, teacher. Sleep. Yes. Why, guys? Oh, I'm tired. Because you're tired. Yeah, yeah, because you are. You need to save your energy, right? Yeah. Yeah, I know. Oh, yes. But you know what? I have um I have known people that prefer to eat than to sleep. They said, I I eat and then I go back to sleep, they say. <laughs> <laughs> but in my case, when you are really tired, you don't care about food, right? No, I don't think so. Uh-huh. Exactly. So I, I... That happens to me. Uh-huh. Tell me, Alex. You're about to say something? Sorry? You're so quiet. That happens to you once? Do you remember a specific time that you, know, you were like really, really, but really tired that as soon as you arrive back home, you're like, fall asleep. Do you remember yeah. that day? Yeah. What what had happened that make you feel really tired? ¿Qué pasó? What had happened? I just get sleep. No, I know, but what it's... happened? It was a really hard working day. Or you no, had a... I, I, huh? oh. What happened exactly? Tell me. Yeah, I've been working. Working? Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, I remember one day I was... Um, I don't know if I said... Uh, when I... Uh, when first, the first time when I... Try to go to the United States. Uh -huh, uh huh. The first, uh, I I go in a, a, a underwater, yes, underwater, but and uh -huh. in the sea. Uh huh. Uh -huh. I I I I'll be like every day in the in the in the in the in the lancha. Yes, of course, in boat, in the boat. Yeah, in the boat. And then I arrive uh in another beach. Uh huh. Um, in a night, like uh, like a night uh, around what time? A night, uh, yeah, a night like uh, three in the morning, something like that. In the, at night or in the, in the early morning, like oh my goodness, yeah, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. How many bowls you then, had? You need to take, or you have just taken one. only one. Just yeah, just one, just one there. Are you arrived we get, early? Yeah, we get it. We get it from Guatemala. Uh huh. To make to Mexico. From Guatemala to Mexico by boat. Yeah, yeah. Goodness. It's very tired. Of so, course it is. Yes, in and so so very tired. And when I arrived at uh, uh, a house mm -hmm. in the house, and I. And I sit in a sofa there mm -hmm. in the house. Mm -hmm. Wow, the only thing I wanna do is just sleep. sleep. And I mm -hmm. I went to sleep. I, I, I can resist it and I just sleep. Of course, yeah. can you imagine being in a boat from Guatemala to Mexico? Goodness, of course. No, you know what? Not even I'm using my imagination, I already feel tired. Yeah. How old were you by then? And then when I was eighteen years, eighteen years old. Yes. My God, you were a baby, yeah. like Isabel, Isabel age. How many times have you tried to do that? Um, until finally you arrived to the U.S., right? 
Yeah, I get it to the USA. Yeah. But I how many tries you you tried like that way? Mm, that, that 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 was the only time. That's the only only time. I, and uh, and then yeah. after other time that you tried to arrive uh, that, Then I tried this uh, like uh, like a four years ago. Uh huh. Five four years ago. Ah, four years uh, ago. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But I, mm, I but not with a boat. No, that was ah, so okay. very tired too. Oh, because really? it was only by by bends. That was so Aventon, really... guys. Huh? Aventon. Yeah, just mm -hmm. no but no but those are private bends. Uh-huh. Yeah. Bends privadas. Uh-huh. But you um he long ways like uh-huh. Yeah, like for one year, one one day, one one day, and so uh, one, one day. year, like what? One day, sorry, sorry, one day, <laughs> like what for one day? All wow. day sit in the just get, get. We just get out, just for go to to number one. Or, uh huh. Or people wanna. Uh, uh, Des, des, desestresarse un rato. Yeah, stress out. Stress out, yeah. Mm -hmm. A little bit. Wow. But just for like five minutes and uh -huh. then go inside and go another uh, uh, continue to do it. Yeah, but one that was for like almost four days or five days, I don't Really? Wow. That was a long that way. Still of course. Yeah, it's Goodness. long. Wow. But uh, what I'm glad is that you finally made it. The first time, but the second time, it was impossible. To... It was impossible? Really? Yeah. But maybe I, next I, time, right? Yeah, I I went at the border. Ah, on the, the border. The, you were like... The, yeah. yeah, just like uh, 10 minutes to go there. Really? Oh, wow. Yeah. Like... Maybe you should try later on, maybe. Yeah. But... Oh, my God. What? You are an adventure man, Alex. You are such yeah. an adventure man. Wow. That was a huge experience. But at the same time, very risk. Yeah, it's a, it's a risk. I don't recommend it. Like you do not you recommend that at all, right? Don't have an, a very nice health, or mm -hmm. you want to uh, risk your body, your energy, or something like that. Yes. Better stay at home and uh, country. Take up, take. And listen, guys. Listen. Pay attention to what he's saying. Yeah. You're right about it's, that. It's, it's, it's really difficult, and it's risky. It's very difficult. Yeah. It's risky. Wow. It's risky. What a what an adventure, my man. But it depends, like uh -huh. with the people you met in the in the way you go. Mm -hmm. the, the people that the, they they the people here in your country recommended to you to the other country. Mm -hmm. That's the thing. That's the thing. That's the point. Because if they recommended to the bad people over there. Mm -hmm. You probably get a very bad experience. Bad experience, yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So, but yeah. well, that's the yeah. point. How you know that that people are are confident, or how you can trust that person? Yeah. Yeah. It's really true. risky. Yeah. Yeah, but don't worry. Maybe you're gonna go there in the appropriate way. Who knows? Yeah. Yeah. That I'm really better good. try to get a um. Visa? Visa by another uh, the visa but uh, for another another country. Mm-hmm. Maybe you should Maybe. try Canada, Maybe. for example. As long as you speak English, you can basically mm. communicate guys with anybody around the world. That is really important. What do you yeah. think, guys? A Glendy, Christian, Alex, Isabel, oh Isara, sorry, Natalie, Luis, Christian, Ida. Do you, David, do you think that it's really important to speak English? 
What do you think? David? Hey, David! David is sleepy, like... <laughs> uh -huh, Claudia, do you think that it's important to speak English, Glendy? I think it's important, mm -hmm. uh, mostly because there are many jobs um, that pay um, well. Mm -hmm. um, and we had more opportunity. Exactly. Not only professional opportunities, but always you can speak or you can basically uh, talk or communicate with any other people, right? It's really important. It's really, really important. Yeah, it doesn't matter, guys, if you have your accent, like really neat Latin American people accent, like Mexican accent, Salvadorian accent. Doesn't matter. As long as you're able to express yourself and communicate or make yourself be understandable for other people, that's not a problem at all. Yeah. And that is for all a, a lot of languages, not only English. But English is the key. It's the first uh, language that you must learn. And then you will be able to learn the other languages like French, Italian, um, German, any other one that you prefer, Chinese, Japanese, Korean, etc. But English is a must. Definitely. Hey, look who appeared. Carlita. Hey, Christian, Glendy, oh my God. Carlita, you look <laughs> different today. Have you done something on your hair? <laughs> no? Hey, for me, you look different. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Sometimes. Yeah. Oh my she went to the hair salon. She didn't want to let us know. Oh, that's but you look different. Yeah, that's good. You can say teacher today is the day that I had to take a shower. I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah. I think maybe today you look more relaxed. You are not you don't look like tired. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe a little. <laughs> Maybe a little, right? Okay, that's good. But that's good. You look different, and that's good. You look happy, which is good. Mr. Christian, for the other side, is like, please, teacher, I want a pillow, to be honest with you. If you put me a pillow, to be honest with you, I'm falling asleep. Christian, right, Christian? You look yeah. tired. Are you tired today? Are you tired, Christian? Hi. Hi, are you tired? Hi. Tired. Yeah, what significant tired? What's the, what's the meaning of uh, tired? Cansado. I am not. No. You're not? No. But you look like this. Are you sure you're not tired? I don't believe no. you. No. Uh, okay. No. Oh, you, oh, you do have... A, a tender eyes like this. Oh, that's good. That's good. Okay. I'm so happy that you're not tired. I know it's Friday, guys. Hey, you know what? Is now is Sarah is eating something else. You know what? Every single day she's eating something. Yesterday she was eating an apple. The day before yesterday, she was eating a cookie. And now, what's the fruit that she's eating? Have you noticed? What's the fruit? Grapes. Grape, red ones, right? Red grapes. She's really a healthy girl, I can say that. Yeah, but you know yes, what? The you know what the problem is, Isar? That you made yes. me angry. <laughs> yeah, and, and I'm supposedly on a diet, but you cannot imagine, guys. I don't yes, know. Yes, I have a diet because I have a. Gastritis. Oh, you <laughs> have, have gastric problems? Yes. For uh since uh eight years ago? <laughs> yes, yes, eight years ago. I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, <laughs> it's good for me. <laughs> yeah, it's good for you. It's good for yeah. you because but I I, mm -hmm. I can eat uh 
pollo campero, pizza, hamburguesa, anything. <laughs> really? Only, yes. Only I prepare for me the food. <laughs> you, you have a severe gastro problem. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Are you taking any kind of medication? Sometimes um, buscapina or omeprazole. Mm -hmm. What else? Nothing else? Did you Have you gone to the gastro? The specialty? Mm, not yet. Only, really a, good. only doctor general. But it would be really good if you go to specialty one. Maybe they can give you like, okay, they can do some kind of a special exam or test. Yeah. Uh -huh. And based good. on that, they will give you like a, some details information. Yeah, it's really good. But I, I'm really happy that you start taking care about yourself. Yes. That makes you feel better, right? Yes. <laughs> You know what? Talking about pollo campero, talking about that, I remember I was giving classes at the airport. I mean, you cannot imagine. That was horrible for me because uh, there is like a pollo campero store there, right? Oof. One time I saw a passenger who actually was traveling with three huge bags like an extra bag of pollo campero. So I was thinking, can you imagine all passengers at that airplane smelling oil, pollo campero the whole trip? Goodness, that would be really, really nice, but at the same time, really challenging because imagine if you're hungry, <laughs> you're going to eat that. Oh my God. But you know what? I, pollo campero is from Guatemala, but... um. If you have gone to Guatemala and you try pollo campero there and you try pollo campero here in El Salvador, it doesn't take like the same. For me, from my point of view, right, it takes better here the, the El Salvador one for me. If you have tried another ones, right, outside the country. But if you have tried only these ones, but it's really good. Pollo campero is one of the best. Mm. Hey guys, do you like to live in El Salvador? Do you think we have a an amazing gastronomy? What yes. Yes. What type of food or what is your favorite Salvadorian food besides pupusas, of course? Do you have a special a special ones that you like the most? Okay, Natalie. Yeah, Natalie's driving, but she, she's on her way. Uh-huh. What is your favorite Salvadorian food? It could be Salvadorian food or it could be typical food. It doesn't matter. Uh huh. You say, in my, you say, in my opinion. <laughs> uh huh. I like I like um they call uh pollo in Coca Cola something like that. Really. Yeah, <laughs> that recipe I had never heard about. That is it like um, is it is a sweet taste? Yeah, it's yeah, it's taste sweet. With they make it a uh, Coca Cola with the uh, tomato sauce. Tomato sauce, uh huh. The, the natura sauce, I don't know. Hi, uh, yes, natura sauce. Is you hear about? Christmas yeah, they mix it and then put the uh. <laughs> Some coke? Uh, pieces of, yeah, no, little pieces of, uh, of onion? vegetables. Inside. Oh, vegetables? Okay, uh huh. Yeah, Maybe. and then mix it with the sauce and the coke. And the... Tell me, where do you where do they prepare that kind of chicken? In San Miguel? I don't know, La Union? No? I did this. <laughs> uh, you did it! No, it's typical teacher. Really? Yo lo preparo. Me encanta. Really? Oh my God! I have been for such a long time here in El Salvador and I have never tried it. For real. I re I when I have tried something similar, it is a gallo and chicha. Oh, yeah, I saw so teacher. Aha. Uh -huh. It it is takes like that. Also. It's almost like that. Ah, oh, because if it's almost like that, it's yummy. Mm. But with Coke, 
You know what? You should send me that recipe. I think I will try. What's the name of that of that dish? Chicken with Coke? Or no? Yes, chicken with yeah, Coke. Yeah, chicken with Coke. Okay. Interesting. Very interesting for me. Oh my goodness. Have you heard oh. that recipe, Carlita? Christian? La David? Yes. That's got it. <laughs> La receta es pollo encebollado con Coca-Cola. Ah, okay, really? I have prepared chicken with a lot of onion because I love onion, yes. but I have yes. never put a Coke there. Hmm. And the chicken color, it turns into Coke color, like a brown yes. color. Como no. lleva salsa yeah. de tomate, más o menos, no, no mucho. It's only the flavor. Uh, delicioso. Really? Yes, okay. Yes, okay. I will try. Definitely. No es, muy dulce. no es muy sweet. No. It's not sweet. It's not sweet. It's not sour. It has like a, it has the, the taste, the, the perfect taste of sweetness. Mm. Oh. It's in cell uh, vino o, o cerveza que le echan algunos. Ajá. Uh -huh. Le ponen coca. Ah, yeah. gotcha. You may have uh, uh, a little bit of wine. Uh -huh. Because my grandma used to prepare gajo, right? But she used to prepare with a beer that I think the name of the beer was Regia. I, no, yes, I think so. Yeah, but it was yeah, one. Right. And she put it with a one, but the Regia is like, it's a huge one. It's like this, right? So she put a one, and then I think like um, dulce de atado, right? Yeah. And they put a marinated for the entire night. And then the, the day after, they start cooking it in that little sauce that is like, the, the texture of the sauce is like mole from yeah. Mexico. It's like that. And she added, I remember, ciruelas, pasas. Acetunas, alcaparras. No. Yes, I remember it, but that was gallo and chicha. If it um, tastes vinagre, like that, chicha. it's amazing. What, Claudia? Vinagre. Al gallo vinagre? And chicha, le agregan vinagre. Mm. Por eso es algo ácido y dulce. Ah, I think they mm. have their own recipe, right? This uh, flavor, the, the chicken uh, con Coca-Cola uh -huh. is, is different al gallo and chicha. Ah, uh -huh. yes, I imagine. I imagine because gallo and teachers has like the uh, panela, right? Sweetness. Yes. Uh huh. Which is which is really strong flavor. And and I assume the coke. I think is that the taste. Just a little taste of, like um, is not sour, is not sweet, and it's not salty. I think it's the perfect combination. Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna try it. I'm going to try it. And I'm I'm a cokeholic by heart. But I need to have it on diet. Why is so delicious to eat, my friends? <laughs> and sometimes you got to have a diet. <laughs> okay. Alex mentioned chicken with a onion and coke. What about another dish, guys? Another one? Another Salvadorian dish? Besides that, and pupusas and tamales? No. Oh. Isa? Yuca con chicharrón. Chicharrón. Oh, yes. That's the best. Oof. Especially it's where psycho. Alex lives. A high sock one. No, chalchuapa as well. Oh, yes. With horchata? Oof. <laughs> Amazing. Uh -huh. I, I like... Orchata peanut. You know what orchata peanut is? Orchata de mani? Oh, yeah. yes. And the coco. <laughs> oh, yeah, exactly. It tastes really good. Ah, you see? What else? What other dish do you like? Coco, orchata, mani, Carlita, Isa. What about you? Isa, I know that you like to eat every diet. <laughs> do you have a special dish that you like? Salvadorian dish, of course. ¿Te gusta algún uh, plato eh, especial? 
Eh, yuca frita. Yuca frita. All right. In yeah. Colombia, you said yuca salcochada, right? I don't like salcochada. You don't like it? You like frita. Like a fried yes. yuca. Okay. Yes. With, um, and, what does it and with my pork? Second, with, with my pork? second dish. Uh -huh. Your second dish? Is soup, soup of torta de pescado. Oh, oh yeah, that the way that they prepare in San Miguel. Yes. Aha. Uh -huh. It's different from the way that they prepare it here in San Salvador, right? It's yes. different. Oh yes. I like that one as well. Oh yes. My mother in law prepared it like that way and wow, she's amazing. Oof. Hey guys, you make me angry. Stop talking about Vulcan. <laughs> Let's going back to business. Okay, finally, Christian said, finally, teacher, I'm talking back to business. All righty, guys, we're almost finished. You can't imagine this is the third week together. Isn't it amazing? Oof. Yeah, and JB said, finally, teacher, I was about to get angry because of you. Hey, JB, are you tired, my friend? Um, A little bit, teacher. A little bit, <clears throat> yes, I can see that. But thank you, thank you for being here. I know that you are tired. And maybe you're hungry because of me, right? Listen about pupusas, yuca, oh my chicken with coke. Oh goodness, you said teacher, please don't be like that. Yeah, but I'm so happy. Guys, this is the third week. We finish next week. Wow. That was really, really fast. And hopefully you have learned a little bit, at least a little bit. And today, guys, we're about to finish, but we're going to keep about listening skill. You ask me, teacher, listening is really hard for me. Okay, so I have given you a lot of listening activities. And this one, guys, is with the continue with the topic that we have seen yesterday. Do you remember what we started talking about yesterday? About services that we ask? If we have asked for clothes cleaning, if we have asked for repair services or house cleaning for pet seating, remember that one that you have dogs and cats? Yeah. Okay. So now we will continue talking about that. But this activity, guys, I want you to listen an advertisement. And I want you to let me know which services do they offer first. And on the second time, I'm going to uh, play it one more time, and then I'm going to ask you another question. But first, just let me know which are the services that they offer, okay? So let me go back to business. Woohoo! Let's see. Oh, yes, Tisha, you should play that. All righty, there you go. Do, 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 do. All righty, let me share with you. Improvements. Page 58, Exercise 2, Perspectives. Part A. Listen to an advertisement. Would you use a service like this? Why or why not? Hazel's Personal Services. Don't have time to do all the things you need to do? Call Hazel's Personal Services. Get your apartment cleaned, have your car washed, get your computer fixed, and much more, all for a very low price. Call Hazel, 646-555-2121. If Hazel doesn't offer the service you need, she'll find someone who does, guaranteed. Hazel offers computer support, repairs, beauty services, financial services, laundry and dry cleaning, pet sitting, all right. So tell me, guys, which are the services that Hazel offers? Uh huh. David? Car wash. Pet seating. Uh huh. Car wash. Uh -huh. Pet seating. Pet seating. What else? Only that. Clean. Cleaning? Computer, uh -huh. computer what? Fixed. Computer fixed. What else? Uh-huh. Computer fixed. Financial. 
pet sitting. Mm -hmm. Okay. All righty. Now let's listen one more time. And I would like you to let me know if you will use a service like this. If you use it, why? If you do not use it, why not? Let me just play it one more time. Woohoo. Let's see. Da -da 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 -da. There you go. Unit 9. Improvements. Page 58, Exercise 2, Perspectives. Part A. Listen to an advertisement. Would you use a service like this? Why or why not? Hazel's Personal Services. Don't have time to do all the things you need to do? Call Hazel's Personal Services. Get your apartment cleaned, have your car washed, get your computer fixed, and much more, all for a very low price. Call Hazel, 646-555-2121. If Hazel doesn't offer the service you need, she'll find someone who does, guaranteed. Hazel offers computer support, repairs, beauty services, financial services, laundry and dry cleaning, pet sitting. All right, now tell me something. Will you use one of these services that she offers? Will you use it? Yes or no? Uh -huh, Carlita, Isa, Isabel, Glendy, Christian? Yes. Car wash. Car wash, okay. Why? Why you use it and why not? Mm -hmm. Why you will use it? Because you need it, right? Of course. But have you noticed, guys, which verbs do the advertisement use when they would like, for example, offer their services? Did you get that? Let me just share right now my screen with you so we can basically see that together. Let me go back right now. Don't worry. We're, we're going to play today, okay? That's for sure. So you can be like with a lot of energy. Alrighty, don't worry. Let me just share right now my screen. And let me ask you something. Let me share it. Okay, are you able to see it right now? Yes? Yes. Yes, okay, awesome. Alrighty, so do me a favor. Try to see in this area, in this part. Do you see what kind of basically verbs do they use when you offer your services? Do you see in this part? Which which are the verbs that they use at the beginning of the sentence? You see? Get and have. Do you see that, guys? Get and have. For example, if you're describing the services that you offer or what you would need, you can you need to use get or have and the past of that. For example, you get Get your apartment clean. Obtén tu apartamento limpio o limpiado. Have your car washed. Obtén tu carro lavado. Get your computer fixed. Obtén tu computadora arreglada. You see? Do you notice that? Yeah, let's practice the pronunciation, okay? Repeat after me. Get your apartment cleaned. Get your apartment clean. I know, Lee Alex. Come on. Get your apartment clean. Get your apartment clean. All right. Have your car washed. Have your car, Have your washed. car washed. Get your computer fixed. Get your, Fix computer, your computer fixed. Fixed. Very good. Very good. Okay, guys. Now do me a favor. I'm going to play it one more time. And we're going to work dictation right now. Dictation. So take a piece of paper, a notepad, word, whatever you have handy, sticky notes or whatever. I'm going to play it one more time. And I want you to write down Hazel's phone number. Hazel's phone number. I have sent you dictation exercises. So that's going to help you. If you have done that, that's going to help you. Ha ha, I teach her, yes, of course, I'm sorry, but we're going to work in dictation. 
Nobody's gonna be sleepy with me. Ah, not in my class. All righty, there you go. So let's see. Let me go back to business. I will start playing the audio right now. Unit nine, improvements. Page 58, exercise two, perspectives. Part A, listen to an advertisement. Would you use a service like this? Why or why not? Hazel's Personal Services. Don't have time to do all the things you need to do? Call Hazel's Personal Services. Get your apartment cleaned, have your car washed, get your computer fixed, and much more, all for a very low price. Call Hazel, 646-555-2121. Okay. What's Hazel's phone number? Six four five 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 two one two one. Almost, almost, Alex. Almost. Four six. Uh huh. Carlita. Six four six five 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 two one two one. Exactly. Very good, Alex. It's only one number that you said six four five, and it's six four six. Good job. Good job, guys. Excellent. You see? Hey, Janelle. Yes, very good, but good job, good job. Excellent. Aha. Uh -huh. It was easy, right? Because they were saying this slowly. Okay. Let's continue practicing. All righty. There you go. Now I will continue basically playing the audio. And I want you guys to mention to me the seven. Listen carefully. The seven services that Hazel offers so if you want to you can put one two three four five six seven and then you're gonna let me know which one are they okay so let's go back to business let's continue listening Woohoo! if hazel doesn't offer the service you need she'll find someone who does guaranteed hazel offers computer support Repairs, beauty services, financial services, laundry and dry cleaning, pet sitting. Okay. So who can mention the seven one right now? Seven. In order. Ha ah. One more time, teacher. No way. There is no one more time. Only one time right now. I'm gonna be mean teacher today. Uh-huh. Oh. Uh huh, Claudie. Pet city. Pet city. That's one. Another one, Christian. Another one. Other service that it offers. I don't remember. I don't remember, but at least he's sincere. <laughs> I don't remember. Did you like? Geek? Okay, don't worry, Christian. Don't worry. Carlita. Clean services. Clean services. Very good. We have two. Uh, we're missing five. Uh huh, Isabel. Laundry. Laundry, thank you, Glady. Computer support. Computer support, we have four. Uh huh. What else? We're missing fin three. <clears throat> Pet financial city. services. Financial services. Uh huh. Host uh, Christian. Pet sitting. Pet sitting. I, Glady, already say it. That doesn't count. Come on. But that's okay. That's good. At least you remember, which is good. Okay, we're missing two. Two services. Come on. Uh-huh, Carlita. Car wash, repair. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Pet housing, something like that. Uh-huh, pet, yes. You're, they're very mentioned. Pet sitting. Uh -huh. Repairs, they said. Okay, I'm missing one. <gasps> Guys, girls, girls, that's Beauty. not possible. Beauty. <laughs> Beauty what? Beauty what? Beauty what? Beauty service. Beauty? Services. Beauty services. Yay! It was not possible that girls, girls forgot beauty services. Goodness. I, 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 I got it if you're a boy. But if you're a girl, no way. In beauty services, oof. Imagine going to a salon to do your nails, to do your toes, right? To cut your hair, to look like a more sophisticated lady, of course. All righty. Hey, would you use one of the services that Hazel offers? Would you use the beauty services? 
or no? Pensé yes, que era Instagram de chicas, pero no. Me equivoqué. <laughs> computer, right, Alex? Computer yeah, service. Computer. <laughs> I will use I... pet sitting because I have babies. Pet sitting. What about you, David? Will you use repairs? Or computer? No, nothing? No, no. No? Okay. No, nothing. No, nothing. Okay. He doesn't need it. Okay. Don't worry. That's okay. Okay, so let's continue, guys. I want you to help me right now. Doing basically a writing activity. And we will be basically using get and have. Okay, for example, I have a writing activity here. I think I'm going to put it like a little bit bigger for everybody to see it, especially the ones that are miopes, right? That they need something like bigger. And all that I need, guys, is basically that you help me complete the sentences. I'm going to do something better. I'm going to put you in pairs. Do me a favor. Let's see. Da -da 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 -da. After this, I promise we're going to play, okay? After this. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Let's practice, guys. How to use get and have when you are talking about something done or something that needs to be done or a service that you're looking for. Okay. Let me just one moment. There you go. Tell me once you receive it, okay? Did you receive it already? Or no? You did? Yes, teacher. Yeah? Okay. Yes, teacher. No. Guys, so basically what you have here is exactly what I'm going to show you right now. Let me just share my screen really quickly. Okay. This is what you were seeing. You see? We have a little... Look here about grammar point, which is have and get. That is really easy peasy peasy, guys. You can use clean, you can use watch, you can use have. Doesn't matter. To talk about basically and describe a service performed by for you or a service by someone else. For example, in español, para que ustedes, para que Christian entienda un cachito más. Usted utiliza el get y utiliza el have para poder describir ya sea un servicio que usted ofrece o un servicio que ofrece otra persona, ¿sí? Por ejemplo, usted dice, puedo obtener, I can get my apartment cleaned by Hazel, ¿sí? O por quien sea, every day, ¿sí? Do you have your watch prepare? Usted repara, ¿cómo es que se dice eso? Um, relojes, reloj de mano o usted manda al relojero a poder repararlo, ¿sí? Entonces puedo utilizar get or have para hablar de esos servicios, ya sea el servicio que usted tiene, que ofrece, o el servicio que usted busca en otra persona para que usted le ayude en su problema. ¿Entiendes, Christian? Do you understand, Christian? Yes. Ok, cool. Si usted se fija, if you notice, guys, I have sentences here And I do have the verb have, get, have, and get, and have. So guys, I want you to help me not only use the verb here in parentheses, but at the same time, which other main verb we can use it to complete the idea. For example, take a look at this one. Luis didn't move the lawn in front of his house. He had it moved. Mira. ¿Podrías ayudarme en este? ¿Qué me ayuda? Uh -huh. 
Uh, Samantha is including her own hair. Uh huh. She. She. Get it. She got it. Got. She get it. Got it. She got it. Uh huh. She got it. She got it or she get it. She. She got it. She get it. Uh huh. Por qué? Porque mira está en presente. She get it. Uh huh. She get it. What? ¿Qué verbo utilizarías? She get a cut. She get a cut, exactly. Si tú te fijas en español, dice, Samantha no se cortó el pelo ella misma, sino que se lo cortaron, right? Yeah. She get a cut, very good. Number three, Barbara doesn't clean her apartment. She... Get it. She get Could it or it. she have it? She have it. She have it? ¿Qué? She have it. She have it? Si ella no lo limpió. Clean it. She have it clean, clean it. it. Very good. Joan and John didn't paint their house. They? Hoy sí, el pasado de get. Mira, porque estamos hablando de pasado. Aquí está, ve. Esta es la clave. They what, guys? Painting. Painting. They got it paint. Very good. Duke isn't repairing his bike. Y Duke no reparó su bicicleta. Él la mandó a reparar. ¿Cómo se diría? O la hizo que la repararan. Y... Ajá. Ajá. Y have a way to repair it. Oh, very good. Excellent job. Good job. Y así algo como complicadillo, ¿verdad? Pero ya ven que poco a poco lo podemos rep reponer. Entonces, ¿ven cómo se puede usar diferentes cosas para diferentes situaciones? Alrighty. Very good, guys. Let's put in practice this one. The intonation, when you're talking about the object, becomes a pronoun. Okay? Let's listen to this one. That will be the last thing that we're going to listen. And then we are going to work together and play together. ¿Les parece? ¿Jugamos Cajú después de este? ¿Qué les parece? ¿Sí? ¿Jugamos Cajú después? Ok, 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 ok. Pero va a depender de mis babies cómo se comportan porque si no participan yo no les pongo Cajú. Se friegan. No, yo no quiero. No, 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 ya van a ver. Vamos a ponerles Cajú, pero todavía no. Solamente practiquemos el listening y después nos vamos a Cajú. Miren uh -huh. que les tengo un puño ahorita, les tengo un montón preparado. Uh -huh. Vamos a ver. Let's play that one more time. Da -da 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 -da. There you go, I have it here. Okay, there you go. I want you guys to take a look at the intonation of the question and intonation of a sentence. That's what I need. I will let you know once I have it here. Page 59, All right. awesome. exercise. Okay, let me share right now my screen really quickly. Da -da 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 -da. There you go. Okay, four. there you Pronunciation. go, Sen Stress. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice that when the object becomes a pronoun... Sentence B, it is no longer stressed. Mm -hmm. Where can I get my watch fixed? You can get it fixed at the time shop. Where can I have my shoes shined? You can have them shined at Sunshine Shoes. All right, one more time. Yes or no? Yes. Yeah, okay, one more time. Page 59, Exercise 4, Pronunciation, Sentence Stress, Part A, Listen and Practice. Notice that when the object becomes a pronoun, Sentence B, it is no longer stressed. Where can I get my watch fixed? You can get it fixed at the time shop. Where can I have my shoes shined? 
You can have them shined at Sunshine Shoes. ¿Se fijaron, chicos? En la pregunta, you can get where I can get my watch fix, where I can get my shoes shined. En las preguntas, cuando tú mencionas la palabra o el objeto, en este caso, watch, en este caso, shoes, si tú te fijas, haces énfasis, right? My shoes shine, my watch cleaned. Pero cuando tú te lees la respuesta, como ya no utilizas el shoes y no utilizas el watch, sino que lo, lo sustituyes por el pronombre it, ¿tú te fijas? Entonces, cuando tú lo, lo, ya lo sustituyes, ya no haces el énfasis. ¿Ves eso? ¿Viste la pronunciation? Eso es lo que quería destacar. When you, put, you have the emphasis when you made the question. But when you give the answer to that question and use the pronoun, in this case, it, to substitute watch or shoes or any other name that you use, you don't have to stress your voice. You just put, you can get it fixed, you can get it clean, or you can get it a shine, you see? There's no, there's no reason why you basically emphasize that Because you already know what we are talking about. ¿Sí? Ya no necesitas enfatizarlo. Cuando lo, cuando lo sustituyes las palabras de las preguntas por el pronoun. En este caso, obviamente, en este caso que estamos usando esta, este ejemplo. Porque ya tú y yo sabemos de qué estamos hablando. Right? Ok. Guys, going back to business. Hoy sí. Time to play. Ok. Ha, ha. What I said. Everybody's happy. Me too. <laughs> okay, you know, guys, what is the um, the page, right? Kahoot.it. Do you remember that? I'm going to send it to you right now. Let's allow me a couple of minutes. Aha. Uh -huh. Tell me once you're in. Dígame cuando han entrado. They're asking you for the pin number, right? Yes. Okay. Pin number. Okay, I'm just waiting for the system to provide me the pin number. I know it's taking a little bit longer than usual. But my computer doesn't want to cooperate with me today. Hey, teacher, yes, I know. Okay, there you go. There you go, I have it here. Mm hmm Let me check if we have already played this. No, I don't think so. Let's see. Oh, yes. Let's practice some simple past tense, okay? Let's practice that. Aye, teacher. Yes, sorry for that, but yes. Let's practice that. Okay, I'm going to give you right now the pin number, but I'm, I'm going to only pronounce it three times, guys. If you get it, great. If you don't, sorry. I'm going to be a bad teacher today. I'm hungry because of you. So I'm going to be a bad teacher. I'm just kidding. Thank you so much for being patient because my computer doesn't want to cooperate with me today. I don't know why. Oh, yes. Goodness, this computer doesn't want to cooperate. Come on.
There you go, finally. Okay, finally I got the pin number for you guys. Thanks God. All right, pin number 2898736. Second time. 2898736. Okay. I'm sorry, Janelle, but don't worry. You will be able to see that. Next time you will be able to basically play with us. Last time, 289-8736. Ready? Okay, Saul, Carlita, Ida, David, who else? I'm missing people right now. Okay, I know Janelle is not going to participate. I understand that. Christian, good job. Uh -huh. Teacher, repeat number ping. Repair the ping. Guys, would you want me to repeat the ping? Okay. Oops, yes. Something went wrong. Try one more time. Okay, let me put the ping number right now. Ping number 2898736. Okay, I got Claude, Isa, Christian, Saul, Carla, Ida, and David. Only seven today? Okay, let's play it. Solo is seven, solo seven. Let's play it. Let me share right now my screen with you. Okay, guys, simple pass. We're going to practice simple pass right now. <clears throat> Are you guys? Yeah. No. Ready? Yes, teacher. Okay, that's what I need. Let's start. Let's start. Read carefully and read it fast. Simple I past tense. See, I can see your screen. Now you will be able to see it. Maybe it's your computer. Use a simple pass to. We use a simple pass for what? We got four options, guys. Which one is the correct? I can see very well the. Maybe it's your computer, your internet, maybe. Salen unos cuadros. Ajá, acuérdate. Acuérdate que tú, tú vas a ver mi computadora, pero tú tienes que responder en la tuya, en tu device. Ajá, Teacher, pero vaya. En, es mi que no me aparece una, una respuesta. Sí, respuesta. Ajá, Los cuadros están. Para ver las respuestas. Ajá. Ah, vamos a ver si voy a volver a dejar de compartir y volver a compartirlo con usted. Vamos a ver si eso es la situación. Let's see. Maybe. Vamos a ver hacerlo. Let's, let's share right now again. Bye. Tell me if you're able to see my screen now. Uh huh. Gracias, Janelle. Are you able to see? ¿Lo sí? No yet. Pensando. Maybe it's your computer. Porque Jonel acaba de mandar una y sí, exactamente como Jonel lo mandó es como lo tengo ahorita. Yes. What about yes. now? Hoy sí. Yes. yes. Yeah, Vaya, démosle yes. pues. Number two, true or false? Regarding simple pass with B, we use was for he, she, it, and I. Yes or no? No me la sacan buena los ahorcos. That's 
good. Very good job, guys. Barbaro de Beer. Christian, woo woo, and Ida. Good job. Let's continue. Quiz. When were you born? Cuando naciste? When were you born? Cuidado con el punto. Muy bien. ¿Y quién me puso en China? No decía where, yo decía when, cuándo. Muy bien. Very good, guys. Woo! Bye, David. Christian, way to go. Démosle. Number four. What did you do yesterday night? ¿Qué hiciste ayer en la noche? Four possible answers and take a look at the picture. Yes, we have two possible answers. Six, good job, good job. I went to the theater with my friends. ¿Por qué no puedo hacer la yellow? Porque si ustedes se fijan, me faltó el period y puse la palabra friends mal escrita. Ira, uh -huh. oh my goodness. This is a battle between Christian, David, Ira. That's good. Number five. Where are you? At, were you at the park yesterday? There's no question, guys. Were you at the park yesterday? Look at the picture. Very good. Three and um, mm -hmm. no. Green was not possible because I can say yes, I wear. Acuérdense que I was. Por eso no podía ser el picnic, el green one. David, wow, David, you are, you don't want to lose, right? Okay, continue. Six, true or false, guys? Remember, WS question intonation goes up, yes or no? Is that true? Is that false? Who knows? That false. That is false. Bye, David. Hey, welcome, Claudy. True or false? On a just no question, the intonation goes up, yes or no? Come on. That's true, guys. Very good job. Oh my God, Christian, Claudia, you're at the top. Woo -hoo. Eight. What is the difference between just no and WH question, guys? What is the difference? Very good, very good. Exactly. Just no question with short answers and double dash question to get more information. Good job. Oh my god, David's on the top, Cloudy. Nine. Put the sentence in the correct order. Last Paris town week went to. What is the correct way to say that? Very good, a double one. Good job, guys. David, you're still in the top. Claudia and Christian, oh my goodness, this is a bottle. Find the past tense of the following irregular verbs. Wake, get, have, eat, and go. Past tense of those verbs.
good job. Ay, ¿quién puso el, el azul? Como dice que el pastel of wake es wacker. Come on. That's irregular. Very good. Third place goes to... Cloudy. Good job, girl. Second place. Ida. And first place goes to... My man, David. Christian and Isa, they were really close. Good guys. Barbaros. Congratulations, my friends. Good job. Okay, guys. It's time to say goodbye. And I'm going to be a good teacher. I'm not going to give you any, any, any homework for this weekend. Isn't it amazing? Woohoo! All right. Kisses and hugs. Bye-bye. Sure. Bye. Good night. Bye. Tell me, Christian. I have a question. Go ahead. This is a final week. No, next week. Ah, okay. So see you next week, okay? Okay. Bye. Goodbye.